Hello and welcome to episode 10 of our Centaur campaign. In the last episode, we continued to move through Bulwar, taking a huge chunk of land off of Eliza, who is now going to die to Katarata, which uh, sucks for them, but it's fine for us. Uh, and today we are going to continue our mm, escapades, you could say, in Bulwar, and also start to move into the deep woods. Now, something I was worried about was that Karakanbar here, which is an orcish shag, was going to be super strong because I thought they owned all of this, but that is not the case. This is not orcs. This is Ernat Veer, which is a dwarven formable, though it seems they are being besieged right now in their capital, uh, which sucks for them, but doesn't really bother me in the slightest. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is send these 25k down to here. I don't think we really need them up here anymore. I don't plan on going to war with anyone up here for at least a little bit. And even if I do, like I don't think they're that strong. Um... Like, yeah, there's these guys, but if you look, they have 36,000 troops, and they do have quite a few allies, but they're really not that strong, and if I do need to go to war with them, I can just build more troops, right? Just build more, bring troops back up and around. Like, we have these guys down here to deal with rebels. Uh, like, it's all it's all good, unless I need to do some rebel hunting up here first. Yeah, maybe we do some rebel hunting up there first. Uh, all of our rebels should go away here momentarily. We're about done to be uh, coring all this, and we are overextended, so... That is not helping out. Not helping out. Meanwhile, we got 50,000 troops back here running around dealing with rebels uh, that as they spawn. Zirk and Reki rebels. That's going to be in the lake fed. Uh, you are headed up there. Okay. There we go. So that takes care of all that. So all, not all of these, but a lot of these rebels should now uh, go away. Hmm. That is a lot less than I thought it was going to be. I won't lie. A lot less than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you look, we are very close to getting rid of all the humans up here in the lake fed. Um, very close. Very close. But, if you also look, we are uh, perhaps spreading the centaurs out to places I did not want them to go. Uh, you know, down in Bulwar a bit, all these provinces could have been ones that the lake fed could have, uh, could have been. So, there is always that to consider. Alright, we need to deal with these rebels before we go to war. I want to make sure that we are all nice and stable before we do such a thing. I love being plain centaur. I agree. Give me more money. And I think, uh, yes, I do have a colonist here. Uh, and I do need more provinces in the Northern Pass. So I will go ahead and colonize that now. Uh, you move out there. You move back into Bulwar farther. Yeah, lots, lots of rebels. We have a lot of land, though. So it makes sense that there are so many people that would be uh, a little upset by what we've done. Maybe just a little bit. I think they're being a bit dramatic, if you ask me. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. Uh, we are building a spy network, by the way, up on the Deep Woods people, just so that way I can see when I go to war with them. So right now I won't really be able to. Uh, we could buy that down. We could take Admin Tech early. I think that's fine. Probably an okay thing to do for us. Uh, now, I think I was planning to go to war with Kuzaram here. Now, Irlium is not going to be annexable for us uh, if we don't make them the main belligerent. But I don't really want to fight Katarata, to be honest with you. At least not right now. And if I declare directly on Irlium, I have to fight both of these guys. Which sounds bad, so I won't. Yeah, end of sentence. <laughs> sounds bad, so I won't. Uh, simple as. Simple as. You will do there. So we're going to go to war with these guys. We're going to quickly piece out Ilium, break their alliances, and then we will uh, take them out later on. That is the current plan. But all we wait for our steel map opportunities. All right. You go for Monster's Conquest. Let's go for it. So you go here. Good. Go to their capital. Ooh. War Wizard. Should have paid attention to that. Uh, we're going to have to be careful about fighting. This this area is going to suck for us to fight in. Because we do not have our good bonuses like anywhere. It's all highlands, mountains, and woods. Uh, there's little bits of grassland. Just tiny bits. But most of it's not. Uh, so we're going to have to be careful. And make sure that we are choosing carefully where we pick our fights. Uh, sure. Cantalism is right. A view up here. Yeah. More rebels. Hopefully they fight my rebels for me. Yes, they will. Thank you. Very kind. Very kind. 
Uh, these 25k can be brought back in this direction. All that is looking fine. Okay, should get this siege. Nope, all the way up to a 92% on that siege, by the way. 92%. We're going to barrage these walls. It's a mountain fort, so I want to uh, make sure that we get through it quickly. There we go. We did. All right. Uh, Erlium, all I want. Uh, are you one war? No. So I don't want you to break this alliance. Because uh, I want to be able to come back at them later on. Well, actually, they might be one war for me. Yeah, they are one war for me. All right. So I just need Erlium to break their alliance with their one ally, and then we're good. Uh, damn it. Silence of the Lambs. That's rough. Less national manpower. I don't like that. That is not enjoyable. That is for sure. But then again, I don't think it's meant to be enjoyable when you don't have all of your dudes around. Alright, break your alliance with Katarata. That's it. Short truce, that way I can uh, take him out sooner rather than later. Okay, you circle back up around here. No, actually, you come up here. Uh, you go for this woods fort. You two are going to come together. And make our way up here. I don't want to actually fight them here. I do not want to fight a... Is there a war wizard die? Never mind. <laughs> We're good. I was a little worried about the war wizard. But without the war wizard, I'm less scared. I still don't want to attack them in the mountains. That sounds like a bad thing for me to do. Uh, I should really just go through here in the unrest map mode and just raise autonomy everywhere. Raise autonomy anywhere that there are going to be rebels. It's not worth it. I would rather just not fight them. I would rather them just all chill until they're gone. There we go. Just make them all chill out a little bit, yeah? There we go. So that now means that only the couple of provinces that were already having the extra separatism and this one are going to cause issues. Long-term issues, I should say. Okay, you can come and help siege all this. There we go. There's that. Move on to that siege. Truce with Sarian is up. How many troops do they have? They have 41,000 troops. So I don't really want to deck them until I'm ready. Uh, we can do another espionage idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Foreign spy detection and yearly corruption reduction is super nice for us. Uh, oh, I don't think I can steal these maps. Steal maps of, of, where are you? Where are you? The deep woods, the deep woods, the east deep woods. Oh, I can, perfect. There we go. That's what I want to see. All right, that's going to be pretty easy for us to take care of then. That will not cause us many problems. Do we need to take out Sarian before we go in there though? I was hoping to, to go into the deep woods today. We'll see, though. We'll see. Sariander rebels? Okay. Man, I really don't want to attack this and lose. I don't think we will, but, like, there's always that fear. The first loss. The first battle that we've lost. Let's go for it. Come on. Don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mountain. What are mountains? We're a horde, but we're not a horde, okay? We have so much shock damage, it doesn't matter what we attack into. We'll kill them anyways. Alright, take all that. Boom. Also, Raj, I believe, is getting strong again. Uh, I clicked on them right before I did this. They were at war with the command and had, like, plus uh, 70 war score or something. So they just beat up the command. So we do have to keep an eye on them. They may want our booties at some point. <laughs> and I would like them to not kill us. At least attack us from behind, which would be annoying. All right, well, you know what time it is. It's time to burn it all down. None of this can be left alone. I need all the Monarch points, all the money. Uh, max it on mill points. Sure, power efficiency is fine. Um, general time? One, two, three generals? Sure. Burn, 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 burn. Max that on admin points. Well, luckily, I have something to spend all those admin points on. And we have a mission completed as well. Bulwar proper. I own 50 provinces in the Bulwar proper Harpy Hills region. Uh, this land we march through on our journey to our ancient home is far richer and more prosperous than we expected. We must relieve them of this burden. Our army shall march west as well as north and bring what they call Bulwar under the centaur yoke. 
their Soriel shall not save them. The storm will blot out the sun. 15 prestige, 250 military power, and a permanent, or not a permanent claim, a temporary claim on all of the Bulwar subcontinent. All right, now I need to own 150 provinces, and then I get more centaur zeal. Which, by the way, our centaur zeal is currently at 31 years. So we've got to get moving. It may look like we're doing well. We've got to go faster. We've got to go faster. Yeah. We're running out of zeal here. We don't want that to happen. First, I think this mission should also give you zeal. Maybe a little bit of zeal. Uh, we also have the organized tournament. I'm not sure what that does, though. But, let's see. We organize a tournament in which our ruler and the greatest warrior of our country will take part. Depending on how well our ruler performs, we can gain or lose Centaur Zeal. The result will greatly depend on military skill and personalities of our ruler. Uh, not a good sign. Not a good sign. Maybe we don't do that, because I don't think our leader will win. And then we'll lose zeal, and then we'll die. But hey, that would be a, kind of a funny end to the campaign. Unexpected end, too. <laughs> well, yes, here's our centaur campaign. Anyways, we lost the centaur campaign. <laughs> no, no, I don't hope to lose. I don't hope... To, I mean, eventually the centaurs always lose, right? Like, there's, there's no way around. Eventually you're going to run out of zeal one way or another. I don't know what happens if you win your rebellion wars... Uh, but yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, Salhad Caravan Route. After the fall of Jahir's empire, the golden highway that spanned from Bulwar to Halas in the far east rotted away. The section of the highway coursing through the Salahad's middle northeastern climate suffered constant harpy raids and null raiders controlled through the western Hara oasis, forcing the caravans to adapt their route by going right through the middle of the Salahad desert. The Zal Maran, the disputed Mashnis tribe living in the midst of the desert, established a prosperous trade route along the ruthless Salahad. Using strategic locations such as the port city of Edshukuru, Ed their homelands in Shimlardu, and the safety of the walls of Azkasur, these Meshnesi pro prospered as guides for the trade caravans who preferred to brave the Salahad. With our newfound control over these key cities, the Sal Meran are finding more and more willing customers who relish the opportunity to travel through a route under the jurisdiction of a single country, no longer fearing that patrols from different states may impose a new tariff on their goods. The stability brought by our unification of the Zal Maran route has led to an influx of Raheni goods in Kiranulag, and though one day the return of safer land routes may render the Zal Maran route moot, we can still reap its benefits in the foreseeable future. 50% caravan power or plus 30% caravan power? Uh, I, I actually don't think we spend the money here. We might as well. I don't think it matters. I don't think it's, it's going to do anything for us, but... We can also rebuild the old canal in Bulwar. I don't really want to spend the money to do that, though. We don't really get any value out of it. All right, where is a trade good up here that I was developing? Let's go for this one next. Encourage development. Put a bunch of dev into here. Very, very nice. All right, uh, Sir Syriant, are you one war? I really hope you're one war. Nope, this is gonna be too big. That's all right. Monstrous Conquest. We go again. We go again. Uh, in fact, I think we send one of these stacks just up and around to deal with the Deep Woods and we start going to the Deep Woods. I'm a little nervous that we're not gonna get enough Centaur Zeal. Um, we are being a little bit slow. A little bit slow. Alright, there we go. There's all that. Uh, we need to get through this fort as soon as possible. It's a mountain fort, so we don't want to sit here for too long. It's also level 4. There we go. Take care of that. They have 60,000 troops. Are they chilling here? They are, ch in fact, chilling. Uh, all right. Let's go in and fight them. No stack wipe. No stack wipe. So they were able to hold off a stack wipe. I'm going to keep all these troops here then. Ugh, so many rebels. Why must you rebel? Why must you do this? This is a personal slight against me. Uh, let's bring these troops down and in. Because we got some more wars to do and some more peoples to fight. And uh, I need more troops down here. That is just the short story. Just the short story of it. 
Right, you get there. Yes, all of you are, are causing issues. I understand that. You're causing so many issues. You want to rebel. I don't understand why you would possibly want to rebel. Name one bad thing I've done to the people I've conquered, okay? That's right. Only name one. That's the challenge. <laughs> Uh, okay, put you in charge. Go fight them. Uh, we have free colonists, so send you here. Move out to there. Okay, you go deal with those guys. You go take that fort. Okay, barrage it. We have the points, so no reason not to. All of you need to move back together. Yes, thank you for coring all of that up. And bring you back out here. Uh, they do have quite a few troops out here. Let's see. Peace deal. I definitely want these three. Uh, something like... Like that? Like that? Something like that? Just cut them down to size even more. I mean, yeah, people are mad, but what are they going to do about it? What are they going to do about it? We can get that. Okay, good. So now we can move these troops in. Make sure you have a six shock general. Let's go fight them on the dry lands. If we can fight them on dry lands, they're just super dead. Oh, so you have chosen death. Yeah, so they've chosen death. You should not be trying to fight me on the dry lands. You should be holding in the mountains, holding out to the very end. That was the only chance you had. And you just threw it away. Threw it away. Uh, actually, no. You go get ready for this war. Hmm. Probably will need another person there, though. Remember, it's all woods up in there. <laughs> I Go figure, right? The place that's called the Deep Woods, it's all woods. Ah, that's crazy. Uh, but that means that we're gonna have less damage there. I don't... I'm not really worried about it. Like, they're Tech 10. Oh, they're Tech 10. Never mind. We're good. We're Tech 15. I uh, might have overlooked that little detail. That small, 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 insignificant detail that we will absolutely crush them under our uh, hooves, I guess. Oops, Sam 3. University, I'm good. Just give me more admin points. All right, you go deal with them. And let's go ahead and declare this war now. And move on in. Hello! I'm here for my land, okay? And this one, we actually have a claim to. Well, kind of, sort of. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since we lived here. But, like, you know, it's fine. There we go. Take all of that and burn it all to the ground. Everything must go. All right, there we go. We can finish off espionage ideas, which, uh... <laughs> Gives us more cavalry flanking ability. Yeah. Yeah. A and more cavalry combat ability. Yeah. We now have plus 98 cavalry combat ability. It's okay. We can do better. We Really, uh, when you think about it. Uh, it's bad. I'm just going to start coring everything. Like, to be straight up with you. And then we will raise afterwards. Because admin points are not a problem. Monarch points are not a problem at this point. Like, we are good. In fact, I gotta find things to spend them on. I gotta keep developing these problems. How's our governing capacity looking? Okay, it's looking fine. How are we looking here? Okay, we can develop this up. Yep, okay, that's 30 development. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Develop that up a bit. Cool, cool, cool. And then what we'll do is we'll just start building buildings in these provinces. Uh, so like regimental camps, we'll build these here, we'll build manpower buildings here, we'll build the workshops, the manufactories, and then we'll just slowly but surely just consolidate where our main strengths are to a couple of key provinces in uh, in our areas. So I do have to keep an eye out for these guys trying to be sneaky and walking through the, the Dwarvar and causing issues elsewhere. We don't want that. We don't want that. That would be bad. Separate sentiment, fine. Did I just say I got more cavalry flanking ability on a general? Wow. Are you the sixth shock? Oh, 
damn. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Ridrin Aspenrise. You, my friend, are, uh, are quite the leader for me. Yeah, you're, you're going to the front lines. That is, uh, that is what every centaur wants right there. That's what every centaur needs right there. That is impressive. Very impressive. Uh, big fan. Big fan of your work. <laughs> Glad that you could uh, do these things for us. All right. Uh, the Irlium truce should be up pretty soon. Yeah, three years. That's not really exactly pretty soon. We could go to war with Abdel Tungur immediately. No, we have a truce. Right. Right. We don't need to, though. But we probably will. We'll see. All right, good riddance. Okay. Uh, go ahead and occupy all of this stuff up in here. More separatists. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, go through and delete all these forts. We don't need them. Don't need them. Don't want them. We'll keep this one. No, we won't. No, we won't. No forts. No forts allowed. Forts are illegal. Forts are illegal. We are playing centaurs. No forts. No matter how bad I want them. No matter how bad I want to try and be strategic and, and hide behind forts. It's no good. No good. Also, for those of you that might not know, uh, you can teleport between these weird-looking provinces in here. So that's why that's why we're moving so fast. Well, there goes their army. Oh, that was a war wizard, too. <laughs> well, I suppose when you're five techs behind... Uh, I have a feeling that this is uh, possibly a Black Orc Warband. Maybe I fought the rebels and I just didn't see. If I did, someone will let me know in the comments. I'll be like, oh, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> like, damn, I didn't know that. Uh, all right. Move you up there. That is good. Continue to siege things down. Who are they allied to? It's people over here. Uh, what are the odds that they have vision in the deep woods at this point? Probably zero. I don't think any of the people I have a high enough spy network on will uh, have vision. Uh, let me make sure. Oh, let's just create Duke and Zelots. Okay, we can take those. Easy. Yeah, I just want to make sure this guy still has a, a general. Yeah. Okay, good. Just want to make sure. Didn't want to leave him hanging. All right, that'd be bad. Didn't want to leave him hanging and getting wrecked by rebels. All right, we're maxed out on mill points again. Uh, just, just, just. There. Spread them out. Spread the love, okay? Spread the love. How are we looking? Once... All of these are done. I can just stop he who and the humans. It'll be so good for literally everyone. Everyone benefits from this. I'm just saying. Literally everyone. Literally everyone. Okay, just walk on them. That's fine. All right. Enemies. Let's go walk towards them. Okay, that's a lot of Trunic resistance. How's our dude doing down here? He's actually fine. Yeah. Ten years of separatism. <laughs> I mean, the separatism doesn't matter to me. Uh, it's the the big rebellions that matter to me. A four, a three, four, three. Only the best. We need only the best. Hey, look at that. You will regret this. How dare you cut off my access? How dare you? Ah, <sighs> rebels. There's some rebels around here. All right, uh, I'm done microing this. So you can go ahead and just automatically go fight these guys. I, I think our troops at this point with plus 98% combat ability are okay to fight rebels on some mountains. I think they'll do all right. I think they'll be able to overcome the problems. All right, uh, you need to go occupy this. You need to go fight them here. You need to go fight them here. I don't even know if these guys are like one war. They look a little big to be one war. Yeah, they are too much. Too much for one war. But I don't need to take their stuff in the mountains, so maybe they're not. We'll see. Uh, you need to go and preferably uncover a bunch of stuff, but if we can just get a little bit more spy network, then maybe we can uh, take some. Either from Abdelatum or from the orcs themselves. Because Abdelatum might 
have a vision? Maybe? It's possible. It's not likely, but it is possible. Steel maps of the deep woods. West deep woods. It's only seven provinces. It's better than nothing, though. In case this one doesn't work out. Gotta always think about, always think about getting your maps. Uh, yep, pay money for development. That sounds great. What's our income at now? Make it 40? What's my land force limit? 202. Okay. Uh, let's spend all this money on this. That's what we're going to spend all of our money on now. We are just going to uh, make sure that we can build more troops, because more troops is what I desire. More troops to do more war to do more fun times. Yay! Right? We're all <laughs> we're all having fun here. Everyone. Everyone. Especially people that we're declaring war upon are having a grand old time. Grand old time. Rinse. Just walk on them. No! Okay. Whew. I thought that was the really good general that died. I was going to be very sad. But no. They're still alive. I was like, no. Please. Ooh, they also own stuff in Eskin. Ooh. Mm. That, uh... That is interesting. Stay focused. Stay focused, Poey. Stay focused. We need the things in the deep woods. Hmm. Well, I can't take any of this. Is the problem. I do want to take this though. Down to Earth Sailor. Who I have an Admiral. That's what I needed. I needed that Admiral so very badly. Thank God I have that Admiral now. Alright, so we'll take whatever we can. All the way up into here. Take the teleporty bits. This teleporty bit. This bit right here. We'll just take that because we can. Uh, yeah. And we'll have to come back for more later. Is what it is. Oh, and that. And that. Maybe not. Well. We could fire off this coalition now. Uh, if I take this. That would fire it most likely. Unless the Raj no longer has uh, enough. Oh, never mind. That won't fire. Uh, I'll take the hold. You know what? I'll just take both these provinces. Why not? That way they die. I don't have to worry about them causing issues later on. There we go. And one of our colonies is completed. So we're going to have to uh, fix that one on up. Here, give me these two. Come at me, punks. Give me a bunch of money. No, give me money. And peace out. I want to make sure that I can go to war soon. Ish. Soon-ish. Burn, 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 burn. Hello, Faye. We're back. We have returned to the deep woods from whence we came. Casting Beastbane shall... Uh, well. I was going to say he shall rue the day but he's currently in hell and that is not an exaggeration he literally led an army into hell so or is that the other one too many castings there's too many damn castings around these parts all right that's what i'm saying that's all i'm saying mission tree i have won 75 wars and i'm present on four continents our armies stand victorious in countless conflicts, unmarred by defeat even after all these years. Our Kane eclipses all others, leaving none to stand against us. Yet we still abide by petty diplomacy, things like alliances, friendships, and truces. But why should we? Why should scraps of paper and handshakes constrain our endless conquest? Well, our conquest shall be constrained no more. After all, who needs diplomacy when you have an army like the Khans? So, we gain Divine Wind until the end of the game. 0 0.03 monthly war exhaustion, plus 100% aggressive expansion impact. 
minus five stab hit to declare war plus 10 admin tech cost plus 20 percent diplo tech cost so what does this mean you're saying poey that that's terrible that's horrendous plus 100 percent you're gonna get coalition for sure and to that i say yeah probably unless everyone's already dead and then you go oh poey there's the truce not anymore there's not not anymore because uh well oh once i click the button then I will not lose stability when I declare a truce break. I'll gain the aggressive expansion, sure. But everyone hates me anyways, so who cares? Who cares? And with me putting all my money into more land force buildings, I could just keep building troops and more and more. And, oh, let's run back here. More and more and more. And then we'll finally get coalition. And then we can complete the other mission. <laughs> Yay! Which gives more province war score cost reduction, which would be very nice. Uh... There's only one major problem for us right now, and that is the fact that our centaur zeal has only 27 years left. That makes me a little nervous. A little nervous. Now, once I own 50 provinces in the deep woods, I get an additional 15 years, but that's not really that much when you think about it. Not really that much. Uh, I need to start building spy networks up here to steal maps because I do need to claim this land. Uh, there's just one teeny tiny problem. I know that there is a big tag over here somewhere. I'm not going to say who it is. I don't want to spoil it. But I did see it when I loaded in. Uh, don't want them to join against the coalition. That would be uh, not good. Not good at all. But, oh, what the? Duran, you stupid Canorians. All right, well, that's where we're going to end it for today. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.